I don't know how long I've been out here, a good, what, half an hour maybe? I've literally had one bite that's pretty, uh, there we go. This is, what do I got going on here? He's biting it, but I can't tell if he's got it or not. Swimming around. Got it? I guess he's got it. Might be an okay fish. Not huge, but. He's not giant, but. <laughs> oh. He's spunky. We're gonna leave the hook in that guy. He kind of buried it, so. Hopefully, are you all right, little buddy? Might be keeping this one. Might be keeping a few at this point. Which, honestly, you guys, is okay. There's, oh. no, 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 no. that was my cheap setup. So I'm gonna hang him over. Never actually lost a rod off my kayak. That is the first one. I uh, have dropped them before from other other uh, fishing platforms but okay. God I feel stupid. I believe in karma. I must have done something bad to somebody. I just don't realize it. That's three spinning outfits that I've lost in what, month and a half. Broke another one. I didn't even feel that, guys. That was a little bigger fish. <clears throat> this is probably a decent fish. It might even be a catfish. But it just came up and sucked it. It just got heavy. I didn't feel any... Uh, I think this is a catfish. I think this is a channel cat. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Yeah, pretty good sized channel cat. Not huge, huge, but... I gotta let him wear out a little bit. Get him in the boat here. Let's see if I can bring him around this side. He actually kind of gave up fairly quick. Come here. for no reason, buddy. Okay. It's not a bad catfish. Should I keep him or let him go? I just don't really like cleaning catfish, to be honest. Looks like it might be a halfway decent bass. Come on, buddy. Show me. There we go. Eh, he's not that big. Felt a little bigger. Man, these guys are just super, super subtle bites.
Yeah, it's like another, like little clone. This one's a little better. Same thing, pretty small. They're fun to catch though, super fun to catch. I just, for whatever reason, I just cannot get enough of these small mouth. Catch them just a little bigger than that. I'm gonna keep a few so we can finish out some tacos for dinner. Like I say, it's okay to keep some of these fish, guys. There's actually probably an overpopulation in the river here. Um, more than likely, that's why you don't catch a lot of bigger fish. Um, I don't know how many how many smallmouth bass there are per river mile on the Willamette, but it's probably a pretty staggering amount. So don't let anybody shame you into uh, taking a few fish if you want them. It's actually one of the few fisheries we have that uh, there's just not enough people that fish for them. Actually taking a few out of the system would probably be healthy for it. So, so one thing you can do too, generally when you catch one fish, if you keep fishing that spot for a while you'll you'll get multiple uh, multiple fish out of that spot uh, I've noticed that the smallmouth they do tend to school maybe not in super tight clusters but if there's one fish there's usually a handful of others hanging around there we go should be a good fish Feels like a good one anyway. Oh yeah. oh yeah, this is big fish guys. Big fish. Like big big. Might be my personal best right here. I just I don't want to lose this fish. This guy's big. Heck yeah. <laughs> have a net for this but I should have a net my god this is huge fish this is big <laughs> oh I hope this is nope 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 I think I got a good hook set but I just want to make sure this fish is tight oh my god guys that small mouth guys check that thing out that is huge oh <laughs> it's been a long time since I have caught a fish like this he's about about 18 inches Oh, yes. Two six. Not quite two and a half. Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go. That's good. What a fish, guys. Heck yeah. 
that made it completely worth the day right there catching that fish I just I knew there was gonna be one on this rocky structure here so I'm gonna go uh, cast a couple more worms down through there and uh, maybe there's another one down there like that but heck yeah dude heck yeah I'm so stoked <laughs> Man, I swear that fish is bigger. I think it's closer to three pounds. It's hard to tell with that scale because I started last summer, I think it was, finally measuring and weighing fish. And it's the same scale. Um, I think I caught a two pound, five ounce fish. I'd have to go back and look at the video. But, uh, might be a halfway decent fish here too guys um, not nearly as big but decent oh yeah it's decent fish probably a good a little over a pound but uh, anyway that fish felt bigger um, I mean that two pound that I caught last year Probably a probably a little over half a pound, maybe maybe three quarters. I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one. First of all, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. When I got back to the boat ramp, it was an absolute three-ring circus. So I didn't get a chance to record an outro. That being said, two pounds six ounces didn't sit right with me. So when I got home, I checked my fish scale to a postal scale that I know is correct. To my disbelief, both scales came up with the same weight of the item I was measuring. However, there is a hold feature on the fish scale that is a bit finicky. And I think what happened is that it locked on before I got the whole weight of the fish loaded on the hanger. As this happened to me when I was testing its accuracy at home. So I'll let all of you be the judges. At 18 inches, that fish should be close to 3 pounds or a little over. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Am I right or am I just telling a fish story? Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys out there.